My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from round four of the Galactic Championship Qualifiers here, Dathomir, London. Super excited to be here. And in all of our rounds and games uh, during this Galactic Championship Qualifier season, we're doing community team-ups. And this round, we're bringing in the Firestorm Firestorm Squadron Firecast. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> My co-hosts are... Whoops. Sorry. One more time, guys. My co-hosts are... You got Nick. There you go, Phil here. Hello. All right, All right. Nick and Phil, let's go ahead and uh, break down these lists. So we got Matt uh, flying uh, Rear Admiral Shuno with Ruthless, Darth Vader, Admiral Sloan, BT-1, Proxy Mines, and Dauntless, along with four Academy Ties. Indeed. And on the other side, Philip, you've got uh, Captain Ferroff uh, with Ruthless. Again, Admiral Sloan with a hull upgrade. And then you have uh, a bunch of Sinar specialists, all with also sorts of the tie aggressors. I know the uh, chat's been asking about them. Well, here they are. All right, we're going to get so, going so. here. Now, I want to remind everybody before we go too far that this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code DATHAMIR2020 for 20% off. And if you haven't yet, if you're playing Choose Your Champion, you should be able to do that for the next minute or so. Let's go ahead and get that done. Take it away, boys. Well, I, I definitely got my money on rack on this one. <laughs> I think. I mean, yeah, you're going to go with Rack. <laughs> I will. Yeah, it's just a natural thing. To be fair, I'm going to, I am actually going to go pick the plucky aggressors because they are an unloved chassis and they are terrible, but they are unloved. Uh, but I, I, I'm still I'm interested to see what they will do. I'm interested to know why the Joust might be happening here. I mean, Dion, what do you think about these two lists? What do you like from the team? Like? Well, so the, the aggressor has been something that I have, I have, I am on record saying that it is the worst chassis in the game. But at the same time, I want them to work. I want them to work. Um, having the both, having two arcs available, I think might be the thing that gives it the advantage in this matchup versus the Tie Fighters. Also, of course, having the initiative two could make it so that uh, you might be able to ace a couple of these Tie Fighters and make it so that the uh, the Sloan trigger might not matter as much uh, if you have enough ships out there to just kind of wipe the Tie Fighters off, and then you're just dealing with Rack. I'm not sure that the higher initiative is going to be a bonus here. So the the tie fighters the whole the whole job for the jump in front and get in the way I think mm -hmm. um, they have that three agility they can survive from the two die shots from the aggressors so they don't they don't kind of care quite so much um, but they can get in there and block and jam up and take take away those focus tactics and those actions that they're going to have that'd be kind of my, my thoughts on it. I, I I would I would argue that that is the goal for sure um, on on Matt right Matt is the one with the Tie Fighters on Matt's side I just wonder if Philippe can manage the range control and get the get the get the opportunity where he lands and he's not blocked that's where he can use that initiative advantage but if he yeah, if he let lets himself get blocked then he's gonna be sad real fast <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, not so big on the dial of the aggressors so. Well, yeah, the aggressive style, you've got your, your one forwards, one banks, two hards, um, two banks, two forwards, um, you've got your three forwards, three banks, three hards, four straight and four K. So in terms of actually getting around, and the dial's not terrible, it's not the, it's not great. Um, they are limited by what they can do, but at least then the, the, the dorsal turret kind of makes up for that in case of the time on target, if you need to disperse, you can still have that, that rotate and bring them to bear. Uh, it's, I think this will depend on how quickly either Decimator or the Reaper goes down, but I have a feeling the Reaper will go down quicker. As much as I want the aggressors to win, I think the Reaper will go down quicker. Yeah, well, Rack's not going to get into range 2 here, so that Vader trigger is going to happen, uh, which is something they probably want. So, Vader, for people that don't want to grab the card so I get the exact wording on it. So for his crew, is at the start of the engagement phase, you may choose one ship and you're firing like a range 0 to 2 and spend a force charge. If you do, that ship suffers one hit uh, damage unless it chooses to remove a green token. Now, uh, this, this is going to be a party this. here in a second. We've got so many ships all together. Well, so the, one, the one good thing with the aggressors, though, with that shield, they if they need to tank the Vader hit to not get rid of the green token, they can at least not take it on the hull, which would be useful. Um, 
And again, also having five ships, all with shields, and having those guns versus the you know, four TIE fighters. If Rat does, does go down, I think it's definitely in the favour as well. I'm saying I think, unfortunately, the Reaper will be in a little bit of trouble if it gets gunned down quick. Because whoever Sloan goes down first, that's, I think, will be the, the swim point on this one. Agreed. I'm doing a little, a little bit of a repair here on the, <laughs> on this, on this, uh, the aggressor ships. Looks like they had something weird there for a little bit. All right, cool. All right, yeah, we're gonna get shots here in a moment. Does look like Raxon just gonna sit in, sit behind? Now just one, one for one forward to victory. We're gonna have our it's opening job. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Ra difference Ra here, is a rebel. That's all it is. <laughs> in the engagement is the fact that I think Rack is gonna be able to contribute to this fight, and I don't know if uh, if Faroff is gonna be able to. No, I think Faroff's gonna be out. I was gonna say, what way is Rack? Okay. So it is range three, so not getting that range trigger, which would have been nice, but. Yeah, we're going to get the uh, the colors on the aggressors uh, assigned here in a minute. I'm sure Nick's working on it. He's a busy man behind the scenes. All right, so be first better, Nick, shot here. <laughs> uh, one hit, <laughs> deciding whether or not to modify that versus one of the aggressors. And he is going to go ahead and modify that to a crit using Rack's ability. And blanks out. Will he spend the focus? Yes, that is against the red tie aggressor spends a focus no damage forcing the mod spend is, is really good there because I mean, it just protects those tie fighters and protects Shirano uh, that little bit longer from that offensive return fire fair off has again, seen no targets And here we go. Time for the aggressors to shine. Will he fire? Will he spit fire between the TIE Fighters and Rack or just go into Rack? We'll find out here in a second. I think you go into Rack. That would be my thoughts. Yeah, I, you know, I think what he should have done is actually activate the back row first. Choose a TIE Fighter, go into it, and then see what happens from there. Because then you can decide with the front row who have all the options. When he's gone for the unmodded one. All right, here we go. So we got one crit, one focus. And yeah, that is that one damage. Wasn't it range three, though? Was it, was it yeah, range two? That's why I rolled the dice. Yeah. Got it. So one shield on to rack. Now we're in the back row. We've switched here. One yeah, crit we'll going into the blue TIE fighter. Four dice and clear. And again, we're in that back row now. Going into the same blue TIE fighter. Two focuses. Going to go ahead and spend for two hits. Safe again. Plenty enough. Yeah, TIE Fighters are going to have all their modifiers unless the, these aggressors also go into a TIE Fighter. So now this is where some decisions happen with yellow and green still to go on the aggressor side. I think at this point you just continue into rack. There he is. Yeah, That's what he's yeah I agree. Yeah. One hit can be avoided if we get the uh, evade here. Nope, we're going to take a damage. Plinking away those shields. And a crit out there. Feels nice, but again, only would net one damage. Ooh, no. not if he rolls an evade. There you go. That's a dodgy decimator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here are the TIE Fighters. And they're going to be going into that red aggressor, of course, because it is the one without a focus. Here come four shots. Will it survive? Hit crit. Not if uh, Matt keeps rolling like that. Mm, that's hit crit going into the aggressor shield crit shield and crit
I didn't wait for the damage code. He's like, no, I'm on this. Ah, <laughs> uh, <so yeah, laughs> uh, wait. No, that's not That's not shuffled. That's not shuffled. No, put it back. Nick, help him out. On the, on the right side. Yeah, there you go. The sound of that shuffle is really satisfying. It is. <laughs> it is a lovely sound. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the real crit is not a double damage. It is a, unless it is again, <laughs> it's a wounded pilot. <laughs> there we go. After you perform an action, roll an attack die. Right, still plenty of ties to go into there and just... Uh... With any what, five hole left, is it? Or is it three hole? I don't know. Three hole now. I think it's probably just going to go down. Yeah, I think so. I think you focus far into it. It's got no mods. Um, you, you know, um, Matt's got focuses on the tie fighters. So I think you just try and try and get it down and make it a um, four tie fighters versus four aggressors fight. Try and get rid of those turrets before the car park that's about to happen happens. All right, next TIE Fighter going into the Red Aggressor. This is red on red action. Nothing. Heroic? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today. Oh, if TIE Fighters had Heroic, they'd be horrible. They're, they'll find one. They'll be like villainous. <laughs> One more, is that it? And here we go, spend for two. Our chat's very sad that TIE Fighters don't get to Heroic. Ooh, natties, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they just evade things, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Right. So, so this is where uh, I think it's going to be, it's going to be really interesting with the... The TIE Fighters moving first can just, as you say, block up that area. Uh -huh. But they might have to spread out to do it. Whereas the aggressors can just turn up. I mean, most of the arcs are, interestingly, I probably wouldn't have put the turrets in. Be setting up that board edge, even though the way... When the TIE Fighters set up to joust, I would have set my turrets to the board edge, knowing that you mm -hmm. could have that option to turn into the board and still yep. have all those arcs on. But it'd be interesting to see what happens. One of the other things so? that, that kind of comes to mind here real quick is with the arc placement um, is the fact that it was Philip. Yeah. Philippe got to see where those TIE fighters were. So the aggressors chose this joust, right? Like this was – this wasn't yeah. out of their control. So um, I am also – interested to see um, if I could get into the mind of Philippe why not turn those arcs to the other direction I know he's probably thinking about the opportunity where you turn away which is maybe this is um, where we where the opponent turns away but I don't know if that's gonna happen in this joust yeah no I think personally I would have had them pointing towards the uh, what is the bottom of the course the left hand side so like when you you can, as you said, have that option to either bank or hard turn. You've all still got your, your dorsal turrets facing towards Rack or towards the TIE Fighters, because as you said, he did choose uh, this joust. I mean, I do fly a fair amount of Mobile Arc in terms of Ketsu, why keep it fixed. Um, but again, with using Nom Nom as well, you want that um, indicator always pointing time on target. And with the aggressors, they can do that. But unfortunately, as you can see, Matt, he can just block up those lanes, and if they turn, they then cannot rotate those arcs. There is no... Um, linked action for them to do that either so you really have to dedicate your turn to doing so but did they just jump over and block rack and then rear shot yeah i mean if they fit gotta gotta hit the gas uh, yeah yeah four fours okay. definitely there, there we go. go yeah nice and but that does mean that the, the back, back row. the back row probably gonna bump a little bit unless they turn away they maybe. turn in yeah turn up the top. and now he's deciding to rotate the arc so i think he's trying to get Shots on right here. Oh, okay. 
Got to fix that. That yellow turning away. He's <laughs> got two turret ducks. Oh. Yeah, we, we can have one. That's fine. <laughs> that's that new OP upgrade. Yes, yeah, well, I, I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with orange and blue at this point. I and mean, they have the one forward, but I think that bumps. Uh, I mean, Dion, what would you do with the ones at the back here? Oh, uh, well, at this point, you bumped with red. That three bank to the right. Well, one straight fits there. I mean, I would have run straighted with with the the blue and the uh, the brown one, but I was assuming that red would jump over as well. So that's going to hurt a little bit, but at least because you do have that arc to the right side, what you do is you fire with your red aggressor first, either at uh, at yeah probably at yellow, the yellow tie fighter, and then you can split your your shots that way. It's slow no probably I'm slow. Rack probably fits. She does. Yeah, she does. Can get oh, okay. mm -hmm. That means I get reinforced. I say I. <laughs> right. Yeah. Rack player, me. Sorry. I am Rack. <laughs> I. I decided Rack was going to do well. Therefore, it's me. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, so and Rack we'll see where, where. Yep. You get and free damage onto the red token. aggressor if you want it. Or on to uh, Faroff. Oh, I really like Faroff here. I think you go on to Faroff here. Decisions, decisions. What are you going to do? Because I think Matt this turn puts everything to Faroff. Because if you can try and get rid of um, Matt Sloan. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Philippe, uh, sorry. So, going to Philippe Sloan. Because if you can get rid of Philippe Sloan before um, Rat goes down, then I think it's, yeah, I think it's game from there. Agreed. And you have fully modified shots into all of those. So yeah, he, he he's flip flopping right now. We're getting a little, <laughs> little, little bit of flip flop. All right, so he has decided. We got the arrow. It's official. <laughs> yep. No take. Has indeed got to throw. Yeah. Yep. Took a shield there onto Faroff with the Vader trigger, and here we go. First shot from Rack into Faroff. Hit, hit, crit. You know what? The mods, who oh, needs them? Good. Not today. Does get an evade there. Taking hit, crit. Yeah, and because of the uh, Vader, that is a crit straight into the hole as well, which is what he wants. And we had a disabled power regulator before you engage. Take an ion token. Does take two ion tokens in order to ionize a medium base ship. And now the aggressors are up. Can they make it hurt? I'm oh, sorry, fair off first. Fair off and the aggressors. Sounds like a 1920s band. <laughs> <laughs> I, I paid to see that show. I paid to see that. Yeah. So I, I think you continue into rack. That's your best chance um, with. Uh... Down yeah, oh, he's going into. It is, nah. You need to try and burn through as quickly as possible. He's going to try and strip those tokens and try and save. Faroff thing because Faroff's ability will trigger if that focus token goes away. That's true. Here we go. One hit only. Fast Walker Zero, thank you for the gifting the subs to the channel. We're at 72. All right, and looks like we're switching targets going into. Oh, sorry, the yellow type aggressor. Not entirely sure what just happened. He used Ruthless to get two hits. That's what he did. Oh, nice. Okay. And only one eyeball there. Will he spend the focus to avoid the one damage? Yes. So only a single damage onto the blue TIE Fighter. But again, I think I think this is a missed opportunity for for Philippe. Why not go into the yellow Tie Fighter, who all of your ships or your the, all three of those aggressors can shoot. The red aggressor cannot shoot into blue unless you're planning on shooting red into rack. But 
Um, one crit. I think his whole idea here is just to strip tokens. I really do. He's spreading out the fire so much, just keeping Faroff alive. What's the crit in the TIE Fighter? Fuel leak. That's going to be a blank crit. See, but right there, uh, Nick, he he sh he shot into the same one there. So that's why I'm I'm just surprised. If the plan was to spread out, spread it out. He's gonna go. He's just gonna try to get rid of a Tie Fighter. That's a good strat too. Ooh, will he spend the focus for three? I think you do it. The shots are. Oh, he's staying. He's staying. Punished. Punished for not spending the focus right there. <laughs> Oof. Spend them when you got them. Yeah. That's right. I mean, you know, you you're pretty confident that the shots are going into fair off because that's the priority target there. Uh, it was low yeah. risk to spend the focus there. But here we go, going into green tie fighter from the aggressor, trying to strip that focus token. Three dice and not going to get anything there. That denied. That's Here comes a dorsal turret. Range one into rack. Reinforce is on. Hit, crit. Does he have a focus out there? Uh, he, he, you know, he rotated, right? He rotated his arc. Yeah. Yep. So just one it's shield one off of the, uh, after the reinforce. Now green is flanking the decimator, so no, uh, no reinforce on this one. Hoping for good dice results here. Got hit That's crit. Great. That crit is going nice. into the hole. That's one crit. I know you don't see right here. It's hole breach. Yeah. Blinded pilot makes it so that Rack cannot use any modifiers on his attack dice except for the force. He does have force available with Vader, but that does mean that BT1, Rack's ability, uh, and the Sloan rerolls, none of those are going to be working. Yeah, it does kind of mute it a little bit. Um, but I think it would, again, it will depend on if Feral gets burned down here, I think Rack just takes a couple turns, clears everything up, and then it's, it's, it'll, it'll matter less if Sloan, um, uh, if, um, Farrakh is off the board here, but I don't know if he can burn it down. Ooh, to start, spends focus, he can. Mm -hmm. Yep, spends it, too. Two hole there, we got two on one. He did roll in evade, so just took one. All right, next shot coming in. There's the ion token going on fair off. They did miss that a little bit earlier. Will the Ripper live? Still has three TIE Fighters to shoot. Here we go. Yeah. Red TIE Fighter going into fair off. I think. Just range two. I'm assuming <laughs> we haven't Just seen we haven't seen the, the dice roll yet. No, he's switching uh, targets no. to the red aggressor. All right, one hit. Got the evade. I think the reason for it was just that being the range one, trying to finish off that aggressor, just kind of makes sense. Whereas now these are all range one into fair off. All right, and that's a whiffed attack. We'll spend the focus for one. Will he get anything through, though? No, because the Ferris ability will trigger. There you Regardless go. Regardless what he rolls. And here, last shot into the TIE Fighters. Uh, from the TIE Fighters, excuse me, into the Reaper. Hit, hit, oh, crit. Okay. That is one Love way to it. do it. And here's the crit. Damage sensor array. You cannot perform any actions except for focus actions. Hmm. All right. It's not so, the worst crit in the world for him right now. I mean, especially with the iron as well. He's only going to be able to focus token 
uh, take a focus action, sorry, in a, um, two turns anyway. So it's not the worst crit in the world, but I think the positioning now is going to be what's interesting here. Yeah, you know, interesting thing about the situation, I think the expected result, I, I was kind of expecting Faroff to be dead, to be completely honest, this turn. Um, but the uh, being able to have him live another turn will at least draw some fire. And we'll see how the players choose their uh, their target priority. It will be interesting. Only three health left now on Faroff, if I'm not mistaken. No, has a whole upgrade, so four health left. So yeah, that, that fair off might live another turn. Yeah, I was surprised when he went into the red aggression instead of going to fair off there. I, I, I know it makes it about um, trying to finish it off whilst he had the range one shot. Like, I also would have done the range two into fair off and try and punish and get rid of that stone as quickly as possible. But key for both players here is the fact that neither of um, the slow triggers activated. No ship was actually destroyed in the end. Exactly, exactly. No Sloan triggers, no double stress out there. And, uh, yeah, they, maybe I that think was right... part of the point. Okay. Oh, no, so you should kill the aggressor. No, ignore me. No, no, <laughs> I, I was thinking because you, you said he went on the aggressor. I was like, no, he went on the aggressor to kill the aggressor, and that would give him the stress, so then he wouldn't be able to 4K. So that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I think he's, um, I mean, I just think we're going to see a lot of 4K turns here. Um, and I think Rack is just going to drop a fox mine behind just to cover that and take one. Agreed. Yeah. We'll see where uh, where these dials go. We're putting out some crit tokens. Got to get that updated. All right. So. Um, one of the things I did want to mention to anybody who's watching right now, I want to remind you that we have three other Galactic Championship Qualifier events for anybody who's watching in the future or later. So we have coming up Concord Dawn, uh, which is not next weekend, but the one that follows. That is September... 19th and the 20th then after that we have October 3rd and 4th which is crate and then Ryloth which we're back in Europe Warsaw and that's October 17th and the 18th and I believe then we're going to be joined by our Firestorm friends again we are back for that yes we are indeed yeah yeah we're already in the calendar things are set aside all good I booked the Monday off <laughs> <laughs> got him there it is I mean, to be fair, considering your hours, Nick, that's probably a wise move. <laughs> I'm, I'm nearly on US time. That's fine. <laughs> um, but I, mean, I don't know. I just think there's not enough damage into Rack here compared to what we've got into. No, the one the one good thing that uh, Philippe has going for him at the moment, though, is the fact that Rack does have that blinded pilot sat there, and there's not really anything that um, Matt can do to, to clear that at the moment. I mean, no, yeah, he, he, he doesn't though. have a lot of options, but also he has Dauntless, so he doesn't really care too much if he bumps, right? He still has options. Uh, Dauntless can't be used but to clear action cards. Yeah. Oh, you're, are you sure? Uh, I'm fairly sure it's perform an action on your action bar. It is not. You may perform one white action. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. What am I thinking? Uh, I'm thinking a Seven Sister. Sorry. There you go. Please. Seven Sister crew is perform an action on your action bar. Yeah. I told you I use a lot of force in my rack. Shout out here. Real quick, to answering a couple questions from the chat. Uh, first time caller, the song that I played there, the Little Mermaid uh, parody, is called Casual Me. It's actually been on the YouTube channel now for two years. Um, we put it up, or almost two years, put it up quite a while ago in 2018. I think it was in January, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just most people, I would say, late, you know, we've grown a lot since then, so a lot of people hadn't heard it. So I figured, you know what? Let's uh, let's let's show it off. It is there though. So let's take a peek. Yes, the yellow aggressor is down a shield because of the ruthless trigger that uh, Rack did earlier. So I'm sure we'll get that updated here in a second. There it is. Boom. Sperry on the dials. And uh, Dom corrected me. I meant Grand Inquisitor crew, not Seven Sister. Seven Sister allows me to take stress away and give them a tractor token. There you go. You're stuck so, on your rack. I'll get, I'll get there. 
<laughs> Hashtag not my rack, okay? Nick's <laughs> <laughs> uh, rack is something stupid, 113 points or something silly like that as well. It's a, oh, it's a big rack. Oh, she's in the chat already. Hashtag not my rack. I appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you know the 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 positioning here from these ships is quite interesting. I, I'm 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 expecting the Tie Fighters just to K turn to have shots. I mean, what do you guys think? Yeah, I think he will. I think the four Ks um, definitely fit from yellow and blue, red and green. I think also may just about fit red. I'm not quite sure because of the medium base on rack. It may it should should clear. Uh, the aggressors, I think, if you're going to the four K, though, I think we'll hit that prox point if. Um, matches together. No, the 4K think on red doesn't fit because he's a large base, not a medium base. Um, on the red tie base, not aggressive. Oh, the, uh, no, okay, sorry. That yeah. makes more sense. Oh. Judging distances on digital games, not my forte. <laughs> mm. It's super close. Definitely super close. But I don't think you risk it. I think you just want to get out of the way. So that Rack can potentially get a maneuver. Alright, we're choosing to turn away here, though, with the Tie Fighter. I think he's going to try and go after Yellow, maybe? Do you think? Mm, not sure. More interestingly, no Proxmine drop. Uh, which I think is uh, potentially yeah. a missed. It could be a missed opportunity or just, you know, wanting to hold that on for a guaranteed damage at some point where he has ships behind him. Since it does require um, those aggressors or the TIE Reaper to actually hit it in order for it to go off. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the fact that they didn't go over means they, uh, they probably weren't going to hit it anyway. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I mean, it depends if he wants to try and line it up on um, Tharoth. So we're turning. I'm surprised that we're turning those uh, those Tie Fighters away. I, I am. I'm quite surprised there. I guess yeah, one of the things okay. I'm questioning is is who, what's the Tiger priority for both of these players? Because I feel like that has shifted quite a bit. Yeah, I still think. I still think the target priority is Feroff. You kill Feroff, you get rid of Sloan, you get rid of. Um... Ferris ability, you get him out of the way, get rid of um, Ruthless. It's, it's a, I think for Matt, personally, getting rid of Ferris is the, the bigger deal here than getting rid of the aggressors. I mean, you have Red who is uh, quite damaged at this point, but I think from uh, Matt's point of view, it's getting Ferris out of the way. Uh, Nick, what do you think about Philippe, though? Um, no, I mean, I, can, I completely agree with your assessment that way. Um, I think you've got damage into Rack now. You can keep those, those shots on. Especially now that the TIE Fighter has taken the fades, they're just, you're just not going to hurt them easily. Um, if you can continue to punch that damage in, I think it's just going to be be strong. And the more you put damage into Rack, the less, it, the more damage cards you got in, the less he wants to kind of hang around. Um, which can make it difficult. Taking the barrel roll here on that aggressor. Hoping, I mean, knowing that Rack has to move forward in some way unless he ends up being blocked and should end up in that side arc. There's another turn there from the Red Aggressor, taking a focus. Again, hoping to catch uh, Rack in the arc. Or just have another shot. And last but not least, did Orange do a little tactical bump and just didn't move? Looks like that was, yep, that was it. Yep. Yeah. And there was the role for Wounded Pilot on the Sinar Specialist. Ah, there we go. So Hard 2 does bump going forward. So where on earth does Seraph go? Seraph, Feroff go? Nowhere. Aaron <laughs> uh, bump and then... Aaron <laughs> bump and yeah, we'll see... And then goes same straight. So just one, one, one and one makes it so that uh, not going anywhere. Takes a stress. Why? Because he was attempting to sloop. 
Got it. Oh, okay. So interesting positioning here. <clears throat> We're going to definitely have some sh shots traded between. Uh, I mean, Rax should have one, two, three, four shots going into him, assuming that nothing takes gets taken off the board. Will he trigger Dauntless? He has tagged that he was going to. What he's going to do with it, I don't know. He's got to follow his heart. Always follow your heart. Does the reinforce stop Feral's ability? Mm -hmm. Let's read it and see. Uh, yeah, it sure does. It's green. Wow. Yeah. So I can still get the, the free damage from Vader. Mm -hmm. And I just have no mod unmodded dice. We'll find out if he does that or is he going to use... Yep, there we go. Yep, free damage. Fair off down to two. Remember, he has a hole upgrade out there. I really like that use of Vader. I think it's, it's quite smart and just go, yeah, I got four dice. Four dice is good against water agility. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fine. And, no, ooh, no. well, right now it's three eyeballs. No way to modify them. Does end no, up getting one, one hit. Faroff has a yeah. chance. Yeah, well, I'm not sure what the reroll was for. Still only one hit anyway. Yep. Yeah, he's blinded, so can't. You can hear the table, Dion, right? Dion, sorry. Uh, I actually haven't moved the mic yet. It's off <laughs> right. at the moment. I okay. got had, had to rush to get it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, one hit. Sure. You so know fair, what, though? Fair blanks out there. This is huge. One, two, three, four, five, six. The hull upgrade saves him. That means that Faroff is going to get a shot. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Philippe takes that opportunity to range one rack in the face right now. <laughs> this is your chance. Oh, yeah. You choose violence at this point. Yes. The blinded pilot doing work. And there it is. The click on the rack. Remember, reinforce is on. Let's find out what we get. Mm, one. After the reinforce. Just one. Do you read this for two? Make that. Oh, no. Th sorry. That was the Sloan reroll. We'll get two because of his own Sloan. Oh, true. true. That's right. Yes. You have Sloan. I, I raise you a Sloan. And he's going to ruthless. He's going to ruthless for another one. To make it well, He knows that Ferrop isn't long for this world, so he's just going full violence. I wholeheartedly approve of this message. <laughs> Takes three. three. Very nice. And I believe that brings Rack down to a total of, what is that, nine now? Nine hole on Rack. Yeah. That is one away from half. Gets another one? Uh, one, no, one, two, three. Yeah, got three. No, he's at eight hole now. That's half points. Yeah. 30 to 67. That's not right. And the aggressors are up. Might be able to take them off the board with some good dice here. That's a way to start. Two more oh. damage going in after the reinforce. Down to six. There's another range one shot coming in here. Dorsal turret. Three dice. No mods no on this one. System. And yes, and no reinforce. Hit crit. Crit. Oh. Who needs the mods? Re uh, re rolling because a Sloan hit hit crit. Oh. Down to three. And red to finish him off. Hole breach. Everything's face up from now on. Oh, no. Holy <laughs> <but. laughs> point. And there are still, there's still how many hole left? Three. I believe. Not enough is the answer, I'm Not pretty enough. sure. Yeah, correct, yeah. <laughs> All right.
right, what's up next? Ty Aggressor, range three. Trying to push through that last little bit of damage. That's one more because of reinforce. But we face up like is that whole breach. That's true. It is a whole breach. He hasn't remembered. He hasn't remembered. Yep. That Nick's got it. No, there we go. It is a weapons failure. And oh, Ken... Rack doesn't like that. No, he does not. I'm not sure it's going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> True. My point still stands. Rack does not like it. And this, he's also flanked again. No reinforce, and that is enough to do it. Does not even need the Sloan reroll, does it? You know what? Whatever. Kobe for three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And that is Rack gone, deleted. Oof. Oh, but critically, he's got rid of Rack before um, his ties get to shoot. So, um, for uh, Matt's ties get to shoot, so that's slowing just off the board now. Do the mm -hmm. ties have any shots? The, only into that yellow the, aggressor. Yeah, but so only into the yellow aggressor at the top of the board. We got some Fs in the chat for Rack. And we got some chain reactions here because of uh, the whole breach. So they're just resolving all those cards. And of course, Feroff now is gonna, has taken a second iron token. So he will just be doing blue one four uh, next turn as well. But he'll be behind the TIE Fighters. And I quite like that for Billy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even if those TIE Fighters K-turn, uh, it's going to give the Aggressors an opportunity to still have the Sloan rerolls on their attack. And we're going to get to see the strength of that side arc in this upcoming turn. And we, I mean, we already, we've already we already seen it. That's the reason why they were able to get Rack. I, I don't see K-turns. I, I think it's just going to be one heart. One heart to the left? Uh, yeah, back towards the red side of the board. So mm -hmm. Left, yes. So I keep spinning my camera around to try and see what's going on. I can, I, can, I can see right there Nick putting up his fingers. Which one's left? Which one's right? Which one? <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> he has been told many I, things. Which one am I wearing my watch on? I'm not wearing a watch. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> All right. One hit from that uh, green TIE fighter has a focus. Will he spend it? Yes. Three hits going into the red aggressor. We'll see... What is rolled here? Two defense dice. Natty's baby oh. takes one. That will be half points on that aggressor, though. Who actually should be down to, looks like, actually two hole instead of three. So two hole left there. That's the wounded pilot one. And hit crit going into the yellow aggressor. No Sloan needed when you just roll hot. We'll get the response now. Blank out. Hit crit. Shields are down already. Half points and then some. Damage engine. Hard turn. Difficulties are up, up, up. So red hard turns now. <laughs> Somebody in the chat says, do you own aggressor prediction coming true on stream? Is this a coincidence? <laughs> Question mark. I did predict the top 32 for aggressors. That's what I'm hoping. Hit crit going into the yellow aggressor. Could clear it now. No, never mind. <laughs> no, just, just denied. And one more. Clearly the CNR has gone through the academy. <laughs> and nothing there because he took an evade. All right, we got 29 minutes left in uh, in the game right now. Matt is behind 58 to 123. That's a pretty big deficit to uh, to pick up. I want to remind everybody that this round is brought to you by Curlpaw Creatives. Use that coupon code Dathomir2020 for 20% off. Now, guys, I got I need a minute uh, because I, I'm getting flagged down by some family. So. 
let people know where they can find you guys, the Firestorm Firecast. Uh, I want you guys to at least one time say it fast, like ten times in a row. Um, and, <laughs> and, then, and then go ahead, go ahead and break down the um, <laughs> go ahead and break down the matchup a little bit. Think about maybe how how could Matt swing this back in his favor while I get back. Okay, All right, so, Nick, do you want to take us through all our details then? I got it. So, Firestorm Squadron Firecast, which I can say pretty fast now. I could not the first time that we did it. It took me four attempts to get it out. So, um, yeah, we, we, we are on Facebook. Obviously, you'll find it if you search Firestorm Squadron Firecast. We are on Twitch, and we are on YouTube. Uh, we stream every second Friday, uh, 8 p.m. UK time. Um, and it's generally just playing some casual games. Um, usually, when it's not COVID, obviously, playing around my house and playing some games. Uh, or we do stream some of the events that are going on, um, and that is us. So you will find us in and around 8 p.m. Uh, every second Friday, as I say, uh, streaming live on Twitch. Indeed, we do like to take um, submissions as well. So if you guys got any lists you ever want to see, you just send us on the Facebook page, and we'll more than happily uh, put them on the stream. We've done quite a few things over that over the uh, sessions we've done so far. Um, back to the game at hand, though. Um, in terms of map bringing it back here, I don't like where the TIE Fighters are positioned um, as such because the aggressors here can just, the red and blue can just go up the side of the board. You can have orange come behind. Either way, I don't like where they are. What, what would you do in this situation, Nick? Well, there's a lot of questions whether, it's, uh, is three green dice better than the consistency of two red dice? And, uh, the answer is probably not, but he's got good blocking opportunities. Um, can just put his... Um, TIE Fighters in the way um, and try and focus fire and get those ships down. He has got some damage through already. Unfortunately, ones that he could probably get shots on, uh, the aggressors that he can get shots on, are the ones that are probably not too worried about it. Uh, did, did Dion leave the inmates in charge? Yes. The, he Sadly did. so. <laughs> <laughs> the fool. <laughs> Yeah, it's right. We we now run it. It's fine. Gold Squadron is now the first of the firecast extended. It's fine. It's all it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's going to be tough for them to follow up. Uh, yeah. Even against those two agility, but to try and get shots in the red and yellow. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, mean, I, I really like uh, Philippe's position here. I mean, green. Um, I expect to do moves the two, um, two blue bank up the board, and then said red and blue just. Continue on doing one straight and basically just try and hound those TIE fighters as best they can. I mean, yeah, because um, Matt's going to bring them in here to bear, so I think he'd probably hard on both of them. Um, try and block yellow, maybe, but it's it's going to be an uphill battle. Of course, Feroff here has to do the one boot. Um, Feroff is ironed. Um, not going to be the happiest of places for him, but he's done his job well. I was going to ask Dear a question. You ran away. Oh. <laughs> Not to worry. Um, but I'm really... Sorry. Just well, yell judge and he'll be back. It's fine. <laughs> Super loud. He can hear me all the way from the US. Is that... A... That looks like a cloak token. That is a cloak token. That is a cloak token. I'm guessing that's just to remind him that he bumped. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Unless suddenly he's just switched out his um, TIE Fighters for Phantoms just because he needs uh, <laughs> the extra rate at this point. I mean, this this just seems like the the, cir the sharks are circling, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, All entirely. those arts pointing inwards. Yeah. Oh, remember the wounded pilot? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've seen the chat here, they're saying how if uh, Brown could block Feroff, that'd be nice. I think, yeah, again, yeah, so if Brown just does one blue forward, Feroff can just sit there behind it and make sure that he's only getting the one shot in uh, from that blue TIE fighter in the back there. Yep, so there we go. Does the one blue, does the one forward, takes the focus, and Feroff will just bump. There the ions, clear the stress, and we'll, ooh, may not even be taking the shot from actually at this point I don't think the angle's going to have him so I think it may be red at the top of the board that will have a range 3 shot into Feroff Do you not just shoot yellow there at the stage? You've got 3 shots into yellow 
Uh, I think you shoot yellow first, and then you leave red till last, and put red into Feroth if yellow's gone. Okay. I'm with that. Just a bit of token cleaning up here on Feroth. We got our, our fellow uh, Firecast member Dom saying, <laughs> if Philip follows through, he'll be three and one with his voting being wrong. I will uh, say the fact that he's playing um, Pond Bingo, apparently, in the chat for things I say. <laughs> nice. I, so am, I'm not I, gonna, am I, I saw the last bit he wants me to say, so I'm not going to say it, although I probably will at some point. Was it 5k? It may have been. <laughs> <laughs> so we got fair off. Rerolling the slow. Just the two hits. Yep. Count the three dice saving. All right, Daddy's back. Yeah, we haven't put the place down. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, D watched over us and made sure we weren't doing anything silly. Yeah, he did. <laughs> D watched over us and watched us do something silly. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like those TIE Fighters took those hard ones you were talking about. It looks like we're in engagement time. Yeah, All right, we... Yellow Aggressor. Triggering Ruthless. He's going to box. And did that, yellow tie, uh, that green TIE Fighter uh, just got taken off the board, I think. One, two, three. Dude, oh. Poof. Yeah. Oh, green TIE Fighter. Why does he put the cards in the wrong place? Uh, green, no, he's got it. He's got it. Yep. Green Aggressor is up. Range one. Going to the yellow TIE Fighter. Hit crit. There it is. No doubt, he's fine. He loves it. Loving life. It's totally how I saw this match going. <laughs> <laughs> From downtown. I just typed again. the wrong thing when I did my bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> going into yellow, and he's gonna miss there with the primary. <laughs> I love that they haven't deleted any dice. <laughs> just like, I'll just have more. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It feels good. It feels good just to have a giant <laughs> pile. Oh, yeah. Two hits. Just going to re roll there because of Sloan. Hit, hit, yeah, crit. Yes, correct. That's, that's not evading all of those. No, that's the that's, that's one of it. Hit crit, so we got at least half points. Maybe a little more with the direct, not there. Wounded pilot. And here we go. Going into that red pilot. One more shot, and nothing there. Does, what's Does he not have the focus? All right. Uh, and maybe he does, but I think maybe the same for defense. Choosing not to spend it. Going to blue here. And yeah, he's gonna have to switch targets now because he can't. He can't go into. Uh, Unless, was that range two? Uh, yes. Yes, it was. It was just barely in range two. Just one hit off of the Sloan reroll. Got it. No damage. Yeah, it loves it. See, the TIE Fighter is totally fine. Yeah. Oh, good. They can do this. Well, this is critically here, I think, from Blue, he's not going to have the Arkham Ferret, which he wants. No, but red is right there. Yeah, like you pile everything into red and then you use uh, Matt's red tie fight if he's taken off the aggressor here, you put it into Falfoot range too. Try and mm -hmm. finish him off and try and put some more damage into it. I like that. 
100% agree. Here we go. First shot. That's too That's many dice. dice. Right? That's... <laughs> It's a TIE fighter. Did he get it? Do you have an upgrade or something? Am I missing? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was like, I was like, whoa, Fortnite TIE fighter. fighter. Please give me that. that I want that TIE where's, fighter right now. <laughs> All right, same result. Like, where's this been in my life? <laughs> All right, takes two. Is that dead red? Red is dead. Off the table. <laughs> People in the chat yeah, saying it's a, it's a stealth interceptor. <laughs> 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 I like it. I like it. Maybe maybe Matt has been flying some interceptors with his rack. I mean, that's definitely one of the flavors that are available out there. I mean, there are many flavors. Of rack, just you just gave stress. Is that right? I don't know my slow triggers enough. Here we go. From downtown, since red is gone, you go into fair off here, see if you can clear him off the table. Mind you, fair off's ability would go off here, if I'm not mistaken. If he only throws one hit, it might not matter. Yep, because that TIE Fighter doesn't have any tokens. So, might, might not go into fair off. We'll see what the decision is. I think you go into yellow aggressor here. So you got one health left. I like it, but he did select fair off. You need throw. two to do damage. Not gonna do it. Not Rolls it. Doesn't even need the ability. <laughs> fine, I'm fine. <laughs> You don't need mods in X-Ring, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, you said <certainly> that. <laughs> and a range one well, shot. <laughs> going into the blue Sinar Specialist. One hit. Spends a focus for two. And is going to be pushing a damage yes, through. That is the one. first shield. Just takes the plinky plink. You can do it. <laughs> So oh, we all know what Pink can do. One, four, five total health left in those TIE Fighters. Yeah, I mean, right now, F Philippe is uh, is definitely in the driver's seat. He's uh, he's driving these. He's showing the world. By the way, I also won a game with TIE Aggressors two weeks ago on Gold Squadron uh, League Night, Wednesday nights. Okay. <laughs> Um, but proving that he, it can be okay. And yes, I know that I'm on record saying that the Tigressor is the worst chassis. But hey, you know what? There's a chance. If people start giving them, giving them some looks, of course, uh, we might we might change change the perception of the tie aggressor. Who knows? And then everyone will sell out to them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's, uh, what it is, is actually a smart point. business plan. That's all it is. It's a smart business plan to get rid of the Tigressors. <laughs> That's right. You drop like the points, the sell, sell, sell. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I know locally, locally, a bunch of people when it first came out in first edition bought like four of them. So at least locally, we got people with three, four, five of them. True, but that's back in the days, the oppressive, I just stick a TLT on it. All, right, all, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, is this actually not a bad medical for the Nantex? It's not terrible. Like having multiple arcs al along with the, um, you know, with the movement that the Nantics are capable of is is really really great. The question is, do you have enough health on the board to survive the initiative four that the Nantex, uh, you know, uh, the Nantex swarms are flying at right now? With the, with the kind of janky because of the arc with the janky maneuvers that you can do, you can avoid that bullseye most of the time, right? And then you're mm -hmm. two v two. That doesn't seem terrible. You're two two red dice versus two green dice most of the time because the the Nantex are using their side arc, and if they do that, they're possibly going to have to be tractored, and you're firing mm -hmm. 
two red dots back in to do their, their two greens. But you've got more shots. I don't this know. is true. I, the, the Nantex is just a puzzle for me that I just have It, it helps so because, of course, the Nantex have time on target and then so would the aggressors. Hmm. So they're just, they're just train okay. shots. Are we going to get the wounded pilot trigger here? And he's going to be taking a stress. I guess we'll work it out when they both get to the final, right? <laughs> <laughs> there it, it is. There well it be. is. <laughs> that, that was the call. Hey, if it happens, I called it. Right. <laughs> That's right. You, you you throw as many at the wall as you can, and you just hope that something sticks. That's, that... <laughs> oh, yeah. It is the fire cast wing. <laughs> 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 love it love it all right so we got a focus action there on the yellow um aggressor which should have a stress on it if i'm not mistaken because of the wounded pilot was it yellow who has a wounded pilot no Ooh. where is it at no i'm i'm not entirely sure no the wounded pilot is actually on no i think yellow's got damaged engine i think yeah hmm 8-Bit Deity, thank you so much for 23 months in a row. You're on a streak. The window pilot was on red. Got it. It's under the ship. All right, so we got a bump there for fair off. So it's not going to be taking any shots. Aggressor is probably going to be trying to focus down this red TIE fighter as much as possible. Three hits going in there. It's a good start. Spend the evade. No damage. Range one again into that red TIE fighter. Hit crit. So we roll. Yes, nice focus, mm -hmm. but not going to do much else. But what is going back? That's the question. Hit, hit, crit, oh. and blank out there. We just oh. lost a red TIE fighter. It turns out red does better than green. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> On most days. Crit, crit coming in from the green aggressor. We won't talk about Phil's dice on stream. We do that enough on ours. <laughs> I'm not that bad. <laughs> Two evades. Nice. Should have at least one more shot coming in. There it is. This is the. Sorry, I missed that. That was orange before. Now it's green. Range one going at the blue tie fighter. Got two hits. It's Only one awesome. health left on that one. And no mods. <clears throat> Sloan re roll. No, he hit the wrong button. He was hitting flip instead of roll. Two hits. And that's going to be all she wrote. Takes one damage. One TIE Fighter and a Dream. I believe in fairies. Miracles <laughs> 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 can happen. I, mean, I think the worst part of it is that if the only thing he can really do is a 4K. And if he does that, he just gives all the rerolls anyway. So it's mm -hmm. like... Oh, that's a very sick TIE fighter right now. Yeah. Now, I, will, I was going to talk about wing condition at the end of this particular round, if Matt had a couple of TIE fighters still left, but I, I just don't think Matt has a wing condition <laughs> anymore, I'm afraid. 
No, at this no. point, um, we did mention that there are going to be some four and twos that make it into the cut. At this point, he's just trying to get some more points because MOV does matter at that four and two level. So, I mean, where can he get some more points? He can try to take the yellow, uh, yellow aggressor out who's probably going to be turning towards him. We could, uh, I mean, that's probably your best bet. Two damage if anywhere you, is going to get you get half. Or, or if you can try and push the damage, you know say, if you try and push the damage into Feroff, that would be if you're looking at points versus win condition, that would be your best bet because he's only got what still the one health left. Yeah, but mm -hmm. Feroff can yeah. just run away and never be seen again ever. Yep. I mean that that is definitely the right call for for Philippe. You just get 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 him out of there. Takes a focus. Lining up those shots. There's your target, you little yellow TIE fighter. You know what to do. <laughs> we believe in you. It's fine. Blue aggressor is going to be out. Just because of range. Dorsal turret only reaches to range 2. Pretty sure that's range 4.5 though. Fair off. Just outie. No reason to hang around. Might be in range for the Sloan rerolls for Orange. Action is to clear one of those crits. And here we go. Could be the final breaths. This would be two on four. Nothing there. Slow and re-roll. Sure. One. Spends a focus for two. What's the range for Sloan? Uh, I think it's not three. Correctly. No, I think I do have it up. Safe. Did he not have a focus? I think he didn't have a focus when he converted that. All right. Yeah, uh, Sloan was not three. Yeah. And two focuses. Has a focus token. Spends it. One evade. Takes the first damage. Can this last aggressor finish it off? Only one crit. Sloan rerolls probably too far out. No, Ooh, it is no. in. Wow. Just in. Reroll crit crit. Oh, violence at the end here. And that's how we do it. All right. Congratulations to our friend Philippe. Winning with the tie aggressors, 72 to 200. Absolutely amazing game. And, of course, thank you to the Firestorm Firecast for helping us out in this matchup. We're going to bring them back for a couple more rounds. Uh, and we'll be right back with the Dathomir Galactic Championship Qualifier. But before we go too far, it's giveaway time. Giveaway time.